What is going on, everybody? We're here for episode number three of my Detroit Tigers franchise series here. So we're going to go a little recap of the stats here. Tarek Skubal, obviously fantastic. He's been fantastic in real life as well. Kenta, ERA is good, a lot better than he has been in real life. Jack Flaherty, bad compared to how he's been in real life. He's been very good in real life for the Tigers. Olsen, same thing. He's been fantastic in real life. We've failed him on run support throughout the season. And Casey has been very good in real life, but bad in the game. Uh, Fiedo, he's been 50-50. Chafe, he's been worse in the game than in real life. Holton, same thing, much better in real life. Will Vest, great, just like in real life. Joey Wentz, better in uh, the game than he is in real life. Shelby Miller, very good, but better in real life as of right now. Alex Lang, well, only two-thirds of an inning, but Foley, just one reliever of the month, actually. So he's been uh, he's been unreal. So he's been <laughs> better in real life, actually. So what I want to do is I'm going to simulate us all the way up to probably this Dodger series. And we'll either we'll play the Dodger series. We'll see if we can play a game or something. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I will see you guys in like three seconds of our time. But All right, so I'm halfway through the simulation here. But I'm back and I'm seeing this as an offer coming through. Sung Che Cheng, who is a shortstop in the Pirates organization, He's 22 years old, but he's B potential. He's a 66 overall, and he's having a very good season in the minors right now for uh, Mark Canna. Now, he is doing well. He's doing about what his he does. He's on pace for more homers, though. But he's an expiring contract. I have openings in the outfield. With Veerling just came back from injury, we have um, not Max Clark. We have Kerry Carpenter, Riley Green, and Akil Badu. We have four outfielders already. So I think... I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna. Mmm. Do we take it? Do we take it? Do we take it? Because shortstop depth, like there isn't a whole lot. Like Javi sucks. He's batting 200 with a homer and six RBIs in 47 games. Eddie's Leonard. He's only D potential though. Is the problem. Ryan Kreidler. He's 26 and he's struggling in AAA. Like, and then the rest of these guys, like they're all too young. Kevin McGonagall is 19, but he's a C potential, 61 overall. He's almost maxed out. Fuck it. We're taking it. And uh, Chang is definitely getting... Why did they send him straight to the majors? Uh, no, that's Andy. I need Matt Veerling. Where is it? There he is. Jeez. Why did they send him straight to the majors, dude? That's so... Ah! Irritating. Oh, autofix. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep simulating again. I'll come back to you guys if we get a good trade or um, once we hit... Uh, that Dodger series, so I'll see you guys in two seconds. Just another intriguing trade here for us. Dylan Carlson is having a very good year in St. Louis. He's hurt right now, so guys will have to stay up, but when he comes back, they give us some serious depth, especially approaching the trade deadline, to be able to move some pieces around. So we're going to accept this trade, and we're going to keep on rolling. Actually, you know what? I'll keep you guys here while we do this. Uh, oh, yeah, auto-fix rotation. Matt Manning's got to come to the majors. Here comes Big Matt. There he is. All right. So this now puts Manning into the three spot. Who would be starting? Oh, perfect. Matt Manning starts the next game. Uh, we're not doing that. And we got fucking torched. Matt Manning gave up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Only went four and a third. Montas and McKinstry. Hey, we beat the Reds. Problem is we're 38 and 51. Like, we're well out of it in the wild. Like, we're only 10 games back, which is, like, a lot, but it's not. Because it's the Jays holding into a spot, the Mariners. Like, we could, we could, we could try, but I don't know. We're gonna have to make some tough decisions at the deadline. So we've got scouting assignments here. I've just been scouting guys a little bit deeper in the draft. Like this Alonzo Gonzalez guy was projected 49th, so I was like, oh, he looks good. But uh, evidently not. So we're gonna swap out some dudes here. Like I've been looking at guys late in the draft just because I want to be able to have late round picks as well because I'm not very good at scouting. I've seen the guys tutorials online and everything like trying to learn about how to scout properly and everything like that but there comes a time where it's just like I don't really know how. Like this Chris Reyes dude how tall is he? Oh okay yep that's a that's a catcher for sure. And then same thing, like I'm just scouting guys mid to late first round because that's where our first pick is, and then like into the 70s, 80s, 90s, 100s, and such. So Julian Moya, 6'2", 210. What are, how is this guy supposed to be any good? He's garbage. Alonzo Aguilar? 
He looks like a good ball player. Why not? And then we'll keep uh, Burkhart. Okay, so here we go. I am a horrendous, horrendous drafter, scouter, whatever you want to call it. Like I am, I'm bad. So I'm gonna add everybody that we got to 100% onto the draft queue here. 90% is good enough as well, I guess. Brian Samuel. Oh, this was that catcher, right? No, where's the catcher? Is it Finch? I'm going to add the catchers to the draft queue anyway. De La Rosa. Mm, no. This Alonzo guy. Was it Chris Reyes? It was Chris Reyes. Okay, so he's a guy that I would like to look out for in the later rounds, even though he's pretty low overall. But, uh, all right, that's going to do it there. We're going to go to the draft here. So this makes me nervous because I was, as you guys know, I have a separate franchise that I've been practicing. And uh, I had the same pick, obviously, because the 11th pick is what we have this in this 2024 draft coming up. And it, I drafted a 49 overall with 58 potential with my 11th overall pick. And my scouts had him ranked at like 7th in the draft. So, like, I am atrocious at drafting here. Hans Spicer look kind of looks like Corey Seager. Oh, that guy looks good. Oh my god, he's going to be a generational for sure. So, we'll uh we'll skip to our pick. Did we lose anybody off of our board? I don't think we did. I think we did actually. No, we didn't. Okay, so I mean, this guy's projected 17. What else have we got here? I think we're going to take our uh, Donovan Healy guy here. Looks like Doctor exam healthy, injury risk low, got a four seamer, throws almost 100 miles an hour, change up slider splitter. I think we're going to go with Donovan Healy as our uh, first uh, first pick for the team here. And then, same deal, skip to our next pick. We've still got, like we have this Burkhart kid ranked number one overall. I mean, why not take him? Especially if he's projected to go 54th. Like... His potential and his overall look unbelievable if this guy pans out and is who he's supposed to be. Like, he looks unbelievable. Okay, there we go. Oh, this Brian. Where is he? Chris Reyes. Do we take Mr. Reyes? No, he's not going to go anytime soon. Samuel Aguilar. We could take Finch here. Only 20% scouting progress, though. I'd rather take a flyer on somebody. Like Diego Cabrera, he looks all right. Let's go with uh, let's go with Cabrera here, as our that was a third round. Oh, comp compensatory picks, but now we're in round three officially. So then, okay, Chris Reyes is still here. He's the important one. So that catcher did end up getting taken. 88. Let's take Aguilar because he's projected to go. We had him ranked at 90. So why not? And then we're going to skip to our next pick here, Reyes and Samuel. Samuel, we've got ranked at 132. Reyes, we have ranked at 170. So let's take Samuel here. And then in the next round, we'll take uh, we'll take Chris Reyes. And then in our la I believe this is our last pick. So who looks the best? Hmm. This guy, insanely unscouted for us. Do we take a flyer on Miguel Caballero or Eduardo Rosas? He just looks like a center field prospect. He's just fast. Hmm. Antonio Gomez, Orlando Valdez. I want to see if there's somebody with some major pop that we could find. Miguel Caballero seems to be the guy, even though his, hit, like his numbers look bad, but he's not scouted. That's why. We're going to take Miguel and uh, let's hope. First year player draft has come to an end. We're going to look at these lineups first, actually. So, yeah, little little thing. Torque was hurt for a while, just came back, but he's been terrible. Riley Green has been fantastic. He might be our all-star, if not Kerry. Oh, never mind, Kerry. Doing a lot better than when I last checked. So he's definitely going to be the all-star. Riley might be a close second for us. Jake has been bad. Colt, he's been all right. At 250 and 11 homers and 31 RBIs, I can take that from a rookie. Veerling's been bad. Um, Badu, he's been very good. Baez, oh man, he's been much better. That's great. I love it. I love to see that. <laughs> We're gonna 
let's go in and holy shit they're 61 and 35 that's unbelievable we're gonna quick manage this thing and we're gonna jump in hopefully it's close oh this is my favorite jersey this one right here is hilarious hopefully it's close and we can jump in we'll do quick counts too and we'll jump in and see if we can uh play in like the sixth seventh inning damn kenta try doing anything fucking productive rolled up dude Tyler glass now shut us down it was probably a bad idea to try and play uh still be out for four to five weeks just auto do that I'll let them figure that out do we have anybody in the home run derby Kerry might actually get in let's see oh oh okay so he has what 22 23 homers he just missed it so we'll skip through there Carson Kelly is not hurt anymore all right the all-star game actually I'll just sim right through this and we'll take a look at who the all-star teams are Yes, we do want to stop. Um, awards. Let's take a look. I'm an idiot. Awards, all-star voting. So your starters were Cole, Lugo, Springs, Eflin, Lopez, with Luzardo, Otani, Glasnow, Musgrove, and Hendricks. Your relievers were Winkowski and Lee. Closers, Romano, Leclerc, Classe, Duran, Fairbanks, Munoz, Diaz, Alvarado, Bednar. Oh, it's Alexis Diaz. I was going to say I tweaked out for a sec. Bednar, Helsley. Sewald, Sewald and Evan Phillips. Um, uh, Rutschman, Rally, Soderstrom. Okay, that's pretty cool to see. And then William Contreras, Patrick Bailey, and Francisco Alvarez. First base, Guerrero Jr. and Josh Naylor. Quite a gap in the uh, home run and RBI production between the two. <laughs> With uh, Olsen, Freeman, and Manessas. Oh, wow. Oh, excuse me. I just yawned. And then second base side, we've got Torres, Altuve. Holy shit, he's batting 334. Torres is batting 338. And Luis Rangifo with Cattell Marte, Ozzy Albies, and Nolan Gorman. That's cool to see. Then Austin Riley and Key Brian Hayes on the NL side with Bregman, Lewis, and Urshela. Oh, but fucking Gio got into the All-Star? There's no way that Gio Urshela was our representee for the All-Star game. <laughs> We didn't get, we had Gio Urshela was our rep. That's crazy. I would have thought for sure it would have been uh, Kerry Carpenter. Like, come on. It's He's batting 260 with 21 and 65. Torque is terrible. Holy shit. Even Riley Green's having a great year. But, I mean, I guess, I guess Gio, somebody's got to make it. So we'll check out our uh, draft picks here. And uh, we'll get these going. Okay, might as well get Aguilar out of the way. Get Cabrera out of the way. Where's our boy that we took first? We had Burkhart. Was, that was the guy. So let's uh, offer contract. Boom. Okay. So we got him at under like 100 grand under slot value, which is nice. Same deal with this guy. Let's see if we can get him at. All right. We got him 200 grand under slot value. And then we'll get Healy in here. And we'll get Chris Reyes. Oh, here, what we'll do. We'll move him to one. All right, that looks good. Okay. So that is about going to do it for me because I just wanted to show you guys the draft and do our last bit of scouting. And uh, we got that done. So that's going to do it for this episode. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.